Restrictions of rational expression. Reduce each expression to lowest terms and state the possible values of the variables. We have four examples here. Remember, the possible values are all real numbers except for restrictions. That is what it is. So, so in general, all these variables, in this first case it is M and N, and then X, Y in the second case, part C and D also, C is X and Y, and in D we have variable X. They can have all real numbers as their values except restrictions. So what we will do is we will only write down the values which they cannot have. Okay, so starting for part A, denominator will be 0 if m is 0 or n is 0. So we say that m is not equal to 0 and n is not equal to 0. Right? In this case, x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0. Here, y is not equal to 0 and x is not equal to 0. These are the values which are not permitted for the given expressions. Here, x is not equal to 0 and this will be 0 for x equals to minus 2. So, these are the restrictions. So, I have written the restrictions first. That is what you should be doing. You should always write restrictions first and then simplify. So, simplify to lowest terms. Okay. Now, we have to look for common factors. In the first one, n and n are common, we can cancel. m squared divided by m will be just m, so we can cancel this out. 6 and 10, both can be divided by 2. So, if I divide this by 2, I get 3. This by 2, I get 5. With that, we get the lowest term, which is 3m in the numerator and 5 in the denominator. So that is how you can reduce each rational expression to lowest terms, right? So let's do it once again. Here, rewrite this and then simplify. So let me rewrite this time and then simplify. The question is 9x times x plus 1 divided by 24xy squared, right? Now let's cancel out the common factors. So x and x are common factors. 9 and 24 both can be divided by 3, right? So we get 3 times 3 and 3 times 8. With that, we get the lowest term, which is 3 times x plus 1 divided by 8y square. Right? Now I hope you'll appreciate why we wrote x is not equal to 0. See, x got cancelled off, right? So if you look at the simplified form, you will miss one of the restrictions. That is kind of error, right? So avoid errors, write restrictions first. In this particular case, you can do the needful. You can cancel the y's, right? So we can cancel the y's. We can cancel the x, correct? And 14 and 35, both can be divided by 7. 7 times 2 and 7 times 5. With that, you can write down your answer. Right? Here again, one of the x's get cancelled. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3. So you get 2 over 3 times x times x plus 2 as your answer. Right? So I like you to practice like this and then move on to simplify rational expressions. Thank you.